Greetings. Welcome to the Kingdom Culture Center. Now, before I go on into the next session, which is going to be thoughts, his thoughts are hiding out thoughts. I don't receive much, and I'm glad I don't handle it anyway. But my wife, my uh, those of you who have, who have sent in uh, donations to have this kingdom message constantly going, um, I want to give thanks to my son who does the video and my wife who does the website. She does a heck of a job, I have to say so myself. But I thank you, those who gave, very much so. And um, I, uh, when you give, this is no, this is no thing. God said, uh, anytime you bless, if you eat in a restaurant. Let's say you 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 eat Applebee's and you get a good meal. You don't go and pay for the meal at McDonald's. I'm gonna say that again. If you're eating Applebee's and you're being taught and you're getting fit, filled nourishing food, you don't go to McDonald's to pay the check. You pay the check where it was. But I thank many of you for listening. That and the Lord had given me to know I can't deviate from the kingdom because that's the message. Once again, it was so important that, and, and see, when I say something, I like to give you something here so you can see what I'm saying. Um, when Jesus did that, um, go to Acts, uh, the first chapter of the book of Acts, and I just want to read it to you so you'll know. Before Jesus went to heaven. Before he went back to the Father, to sit on the right-hand side. That's why I have a problem with I have a problem with people who wear crosses around their necks and say he's there. No, no. Let me tell you something. It's not the cross. The cross was a cursed thing. Anyone that hung on the cross was a curse. But now he sits, and that was to be that was prophesied. But he sits on the throne of the Father now. But listen, turn to Acts the first chapter. And I'm going to read to you, starting with the first verse. The former account I made, O Theopolis, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up after he, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom he had also presented himself alive after his suffering, by many infallible proofs, being seen by them during 40 days, speaking and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. It's very important that you understand that. Those of you in the Solomon Islands, those of you in the UK, those of you in in Ireland, I've I've gotten some 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 responses, uh, so many, um, and 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 see, and and those in in, in Ghana, Nigeria, uh, 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 names I can't even think of right now. Um, the Lord has this message. If you have any questions, if you want to know, you can email me. I will email, I will answer them. I will address them as rapidly as I possibly can. I, I See, I'm held accountable for what I do, what I say, how I conduct myself. I have and I will be a living example of how you should live on planet Earth here. And I'm always looking in this book, in the Constitution, in God's Constitution, to see how I, what I missed. It's a serious thing. My life is an example that you may follow. You will look at, but stay in the word. I, ha, I, I constantly stress that point. Read God's word, study it. Take every thought captive of how you think. Be careful of what you read, what you watch on television, on the internet. 
Guard your thoughts. Let the foundation of your mind be the word of God. I'm going to tell you something. I'm not telling you something I don't do. My wife, my son could tell you. Let your mind soak in the word of God. To the point when you speak, when you go somewhere, people will see the difference of how you conduct yourself. In God's word, you're a winner. In God's word, it cleans you, it cleanses you. Let me, you know, there's a there's a there's a point where God's word, you, you're clean through the word that I speak, Jesus made this statement. You're clean through the words that I speak. See, it's how you perceive. It's what you take in. The word of God is food. It's food for your spirit. We are spirit. We live in a body. We have a soul, which is our emotion. So when this body is gone, your soul have to deal with that. Your spirit lives on. And I, I, I say this so many times. Excuse me. I've said this so many times that um, when, and God said, if you replace it, is eternal hell or eternal damn? Is, etern is eternal life or eternal damnation? Now, why does he say that? Eternal life or eternal damnation is why. A spirit cannot be destroyed. God speak that. So you have eternal damnation, that's where you'll be for the rest of your life. He loves you. God loves you. He don't desire for anyone to perish. This is a kingdom message. This is not a religious message. I'm not talking about religion. So to, 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 to get out there, I really hate the hate religion. Really, I was in that religious mode one time. Man, it ain't good. Look at them fighting. In the kingdom, you don't sweat death. Somebody threaten you with death. No, because either God deliver you or you're absent from the body and you to be present with the Lord. Don't sweat the small stuff. You don't allow death to sweat you because we'll live on. You know, it's amazing how um, this religious organization are called Islam. They talk about, you, you, they die and they kill people. When they, that's not God, by the way. You know, and see, the kingdom government, we have an alliance with one individual. In the kingdom, there's no religion. We only have an obligation. And our, our faith is in one king, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. See, in, in the country where I live in, they're afraid a lot of times in certain jobs. You can't say Jesus. So with me, when I was worked in that, that type of atmosphere, I said Jesus. I was put aside because of religion. And at that time, I was religious. I didn't know. But God, the Lord, had me to maintain in my, in my spirit this one scripture in Matthew 6, 33. And it was seek first, that's the priority, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. That was the priority. That is the priority. So, I want you to know, God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. He spoke that in Isaiah back then. Listen, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. See, it's what you, your action, whatever action you do is compounded by the way you think. We, I'm, I'm going to talk about that in the next session. Um, right now, um, I just want to say this before I leave the session. Uh, once again, your greatest asset is your faith in God's word, in the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, faith 
has has to have have to have a focus point. You can't just have faith. It has a focus. You have faith in what or whom. Until next time. Thank you.